Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel Pisces Soul Tribe, what's going on you guys? Um, hopefully this message finds you in good favor And that you are doing well on your journey If you feel you aren't, of course my intention is to grab a word from the divine To help you to continue to move forward on your journey On Pisces Soul Tribe, I want to get into a general read for you And of course anything that you need from me um, Can be found down below in the description box um, I'm feeling the need to pull some cosmic um, oracle um, messages I'm feeling like there is a message from on high from deeper um, from within from a place of um, far distant familiar um, territory is what I'm feeling but let's see what messages um, we have here from um, this particular um, Oracle deck um, just flipping over um, listen to your body and do what it is asking of you I feel like there is a need to clear out some dark spaces within someone's energy. I'm feeling like this is um, lingering energy from previous um, attachments. Um, it's not feeling like it's overtaking you or anything like that. I feel like that's where some of the memories are coming from. Um, that's where some energies um, definitely um, um, are seeping up from. Bet on yourself. Um, take chances. Reach your dreams You've got this. There's a sense of needing to achieve some dreams. Go after what you really want to go after. I feel like there's a need to to take a risk. Um, I'm feeling will of fortune. I'm feeling like there's some sense of good favor that can come your way. Um, with you taking a risk, a leap of faith is also what I'm hearing. I'm feeling the fool, um, as well. Okay, so let's pull. Okay. Find ways to lighten up. And not take everything so seriously. I feel like there is a need to possibly journey somewhere. Um, take a trip. Um, adventure. I'm getting some type of journey here as well. I feel like maybe possibly somebody has been through a lot um, on what you feel like is possibly a dark night of the soul. And like I feel like there is a sense of something telling you to find a way to do something to, to make you happy. Do something fun. I'm feeling like um, maybe possibly play a game is what I'm feeling. That could be a video game, board game. I'm feeling like maybe get some friends together. Three, three of Cups energy. Let's see. What else do we have here, Spirit? Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to take those. <laughs> this is a lot. Okay, one is speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud um, and clear. Um, I feel like even in the midst of um, what one would deem silence, your voice is very loud. I feel like this is also a need to speak up in some type of energy as well. I don't feel like this is just about you being vocal because like I felt what if it, what I feel is your voice comes from within and what people hear is merely a sound. I feel like the voice is the deeper meaning, the aspects of what it is you have to say. So I feel like there's something that's saying look for those those deep spaces in you, those spaces that have meaning, those spaces that have have value, those spaces where things could possibly um, be more fair There's a need for somebody to speak up about that You have such a bright light inside Stop dimming um, Stop dimming it I feel like there was also a mask here I feel like somebody downplayed their energy In the midst of friendships and connections You were involved with I feel like I feel like you possibly felt um like you were doing too much. Um you were too different. Um I also feel like you're the also the type who really doesn't like a lot of attention um on yourself. So I feel like um in that vein you also dimmed your light as well. Um because like I feel like there's just something about you no matter what. Um you bring some form of attention. Um people are always looking at you um as well. Bet on yourself, take chances. So it did come out. Um reach your dreams. Um you've got this. There's something here about you um, being on your game right now, making yourself the forefront because this is only this is the only way some dream um, will will be achieved. There's something very significant about circles, um, spheres, um, anything round, round shapes. I feel like round shapes um, bring something full circle. Um, there's some form of connectivity that always exists as well. I'm um, getting. Um, Six of Pentacles energy as well. And then lastly, remember that you can't change anyone. 
but yourself. As I said, like I feel like the focus is on what changes one oneself need to make um some form of introspection um here as well but there's a sense of guiding you into directions um where you'll be okay um there's some form of abundance here um as well but let's see what the tarot has to um um has to say about this spirit what messages are here present so I'm going to take a deep dive you guys um, So four swords um, Ten of pentacles um, Temperance Someone's perspective On um, how they view A lot of people with this um, Four of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, um, to the Temperance has definitely changed. Um, I feel like there's been some sense of truth, um, some clarity gained um, with some form of meditation, um, some form of contemplation about thinking about previous um, connections um, you were involved with. And like, I feel like there was um, a lot of healing that happened in these spaces, uh, in these spaces as well. Um, at this present time, I'm not feeling um, any romantic bonds, but take that, um, take that as it resonates as well. Um, I'm getting other types of relationships, relationships with family, um, relationships with friends, but I'm definitely getting um, more friendship circles um, than anything else. What else? So with the justice, so something definitely came into balance. Um, I feel like some, some some truth, some form of clarity um, was gained about um, a, a group of individuals. I also feel like someone's perspective um, and the manner and, to, and, and the way that you treat these individuals um, has changed as well. I feel like you're in a space now where no one is absolved and no one can um, breach any form of boundary. I feel like you are definitely fair um, about how you present yourself and how you present any relationships that you want moving forward. But there's definitely been a change in how you view connections moving forward. Yep, three of pentacles. Um, Knight of Knight of Cups. I feel like somebody's trying to present you some form of collaboration um, that will be very meaningful for you, meaningful for you, um, especially with this Knight of Cups. I feel like this is something that you um, have also been a attracting your way um, after some form of, of necessary changes um, that had to happen in your life, Pisces. Okay. So um, definitely the death and the four, four of cups. I feel like you, you put um, an end to a lot of stagnancy in your life. A lot of um, offers presented to you without um, any real form of emotional value. I feel like what you, what you, I feel like you put some cup down in order to focus on some download, some inspiration, especially with this, um, with the Ace of Wands um, at the bottom of the deck. As I said, I feel like somebody's perspective about offers um, at this present time have changed. I feel like at one time you also did reject an offer from the divine, but like, I feel like now that perspective has also changed. So let's see. Yeah, so the Nine of Pentacles to the Emperor to the Six of Swords. I feel like you're moving moving to a space that's, as I said, worthy of you. I feel like this is some um, necessary change that had to happen in your life because I feel like at one point in time you were acting like you weren't this Emperor um, and that you weren't in this Emperor energy and that you that you didn't come through and go through some changes um, on your own. I feel like there there's a space that you had to go to had to go to um, on your own because other people wouldn't understand it. Um, other people wouldn't get it. This this was something that was designed to happen in your life um, to put you in a space where you're very watchful um, of where you put um, where you where you put and where you give um, very monumental things. What else? 
Yeah, six um six of um pentacles number sixty six is very significant here. Um, as well as the number twelve. I'm also getting the number um three as well. Um, definitely um feeling high priestess um empress energy at this present time. <laughs> so um just as good. Um, so queen of cups. I feel like there's this form um where you're moving into spaces that definitely are more solid, more under, um, more understanding, um, where there's equal reciprocity, um, some form of equal give and take. I feel like, um, things of an emotional nature, um, are very important to you. Um, this is something that you definitely approach with some form of tender love and care, um, some form of, um, compassion as well. Um, someone definitely, um, has a knowing of, of where they want to go in life. Um, also where you see yourself going. I feel like somebody is about to take a risk. Um, definitely now and coming with the eight of pentacles. I feel like an opportunity is about to be presented to you um, and the sun. So there's definitely opportunity um, that's um, about to be presented to you um, to bring some form of happiness to you. Um, a new start. Um, definitely starting over. As I said, taking a leap of faith, um, taking a risk after removing yourself from um, toxic cycles, um, things that also didn't mean you um, any um, good or well what else number three empress energy so um definitely um being in a space where you honestly are it where you where you as i said once again being this emperor and this empress um energy where you change and you relegate through spaces so intelligently um i feel like there's definitely this sense of um taking charge of yourself um as an individual where you're definitely um taking care of yourself uh protecting those things that are definitely most Im important to you um there's this sense of a purity um as well to you i feel like something is very alluring also very attractive um about you but this is all about you today there is no other um foreign energies um here this is about you becoming who you're supposed to become an opportunity um, to present yourself in both spaces um, where you understand how to rule the masculine, where you also understand how to rule the feminine as well. But there's a sense of balance where you are at the center of this. What else? Yeah, so now with the moon and the seven of um, cups, I feel like any form of illusions have been revealed to you. I'm definitely also getting high priestess um, energy um, as well. I feel like um, with definitely um, ten of swords at the bottom of the deck, I feel like there, there's an end to all things hidden, all things that um, are meant to stir up some forms of confusion or illusion. And like, I feel like it's possible that you're changing those illusions to opportunities. Someone is alchemizing some energy once again with the fool. As I said, I feel like someone's well, someone is changing some form of projections, like some form of illusions, um, some form of deception. I feel like somebody this time has also made the right choice amidst a lot of choices as well. What else? <clears throat> so king of wands why the king of wands okay so five of wands so there's somebody in your energy who who thinks there's something like you especially with this king of wands um with you also being an empress um empress as well as emperor energy I feel like there's somebody who's meant to stir up some some sort of conflict um with you to definitely keep you in some form of toxic to toxic cycles where you um consistently are dealing with towers. Five of Wands. What's the opposition? So King of Swords, um, this is somebody who feels like they um, want to speak up about you. I feel like this is somebody who also keeps things hidden in, in, in secrecy. I also feel like this is possibly someone who um, has taken and hidden away something. This is possibly also somebody who wants to reveal some sort of truth as well to stir up some conflict to say anything in order to get you to fail or to get you to stop doing what you're doing. 
So three of cups, some third party, as well as the magician. Why the three of cups and the magician? So the chariot. I feel like despite what anybody does, like there there's definitely some form of celebration and then also some form some manifestation, something that you possibly ask for is coming your way. Um, especially with the ace of wands now at the bottom of the deck. I feel like somebody's prayers are about to be answered is also what I'm feeling. With the high priestess as well as the eight of swords to the hermit. Why these three? So the so some form of truth is also about to be, be revealed to you. Some sort of download that you are going to receive when, when you're by yourself, um, possibly dreaming. Um, also possibly about an opportunity or some form of placement, something for you to do in order to put you in the forefront as well. And like I feel like with this happening, this is definitely going to leave a lot of people out in the cold. A lot of people are definitely going to be feeling um, left out um, because there's going to be this sense of you doing this and you you making and creating a way for yourself and you becoming big in your own right. And like I feel like people are going to feel like you you left them out in the cold because of that. But like I feel like a lot of variables and a lot of things happened before that to put you in this space where you did choose yourself. What else? So, yeah, with the eight of pentacles, there's something that you are about to start working on. There's something that's meant to definitely put you in a space where people will come looking, um, looking for you because of how talented um, you are. You do something very special and your attention to detail is very, um, very um, amazing. Um, Ace of Cups, a lot of people are going to love what you're doing. A lot of people are going to find joy in what, what you're doing as well. I feel like there's also going to be a lot of people in your energy who are going to feel very disappointed um, as well. Quite naturally. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, I feel like with you doing this, this is also going to bring in offers. And they're going to put you in a space where your perspective of, about how you once viewed your life um, will change as well. So I feel like somebody's definitely going to look back on their life. And think about how they made it over with the seven of wands and the um, queen of pentacles. I feel like somebody's um, moving into a space where there's this protection, this war, this this um, warding off of any forms of conflicts or imbalance. I feel like someone's also moving once again to this space of, of the queen of pentacles where you where you're moving to a space where you're honoring yourself. I feel like there's. Um, a reflection of how you as I say once again how you how you've gotten this far someone wasn't always a queen um a queen of pentacles I feel like there's been a lot of transformations um a lot of changes I feel like there have been a lot of progressions as well um some people have taken one step forward two steps back taken five steps forward what else <clears throat> So Knave of Wands, why the Knave of Wands? So Two of Swords, I feel like there's a decision that's um, coming your way. One that you might um, need to make um, with passion versus um, mental. Going with your gut, especially with the Queen of Wands now coming out. There's a decision that you need to make with your gut that's going to put you in a space where things begin to grow. Where things begin to flourish, I feel like somebody's definitely going to meet someone um, after some sense of, of, of a painful ending. Last few messages. So the judgment, there's definitely some reawakening um, that's meant to happen here. I feel like something was purposeful. While some things are going down, some things are moving up as well. There's balance here as well. The number two is very significant. Um, 22. What else? So the hangman, I'm not going to pick that up. So the hangman, 
there's a sense of needing to hang on to um, some sort of ending that's happened, something that was meant to end for you. Um, I feel like um, the number 10 is very significant. The number 20, the judgment is 20 as well. So um, 2020 is very significant. So I feel like endings have happened and there's a need to keep them there because like I feel like um, with bringing somebody back in, there's going to be um, this need to always be on watch, always be on guard um, about this individual. Um, somebody's feeling like somebody is a soulmate. They're not. Um, sorry, that's just the message. Um, something definitely is over. Um, some energy has um, definitely come to an end. Um, I would say relinquish that because I feel like that's that's the thing that's also um, holding you back from this reawakening, um, moving into this place where things are new and fresh for you. I feel like something's definitely um, on hold. Everything's falling on the floor now. I got to see what that one is now. Hold on. OK, um, so the eight of cups is what what that was. I feel like there's definitely disappointment with. <clears throat> moving into spaces that 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 suit you and spaces that are more favorable to you because as i said like i feel like in the midst of uh, of a lot of people um you were the underdog but what i'm hearing now is hated or love with the underdogs on top and i'm gonna shine and like i you know i don't know the end of that but like i feel like it's not gonna stop like i feel like there's something about you where, where once upon a time you were the underdog and like I feel like a lot of people now are going to see you in a space where you are abundant where things um, that you wanted to flourish and create are coming to into existence and like I feel like a lot of people are wondering how you how you've done that because like I feel like not only a couple of months ago um, you ended a lot of cycles you possibly ended a lot of friendships um, you ended a lot of things with a lot of people and like i feel like within a couple of months you've seen your life um go go for the betterment go on a better course and you've come into something great you've come into something good and like i feel like a lot of people can see that and they now want to be um with you in this space wondering how you do it how you did it so they can do it for themselves with the queen of swords somebody's wondering how you're doing something because they're not having any success with it while while you're while you're chilling while you're working hard uh, while while you're chilling and while you're resting everybody else behind you is working hard the queen of swords the three the the boats walking to the water i feel like you're chilling while somebody is in five of swords energy um feeling like they're defeated feeling like they have to do so much more <clears throat> Something has come very easy for you with the world. Um, people are really, truly watching you, watching how you are, are growing into some form of abundance, um, um, how things are really working out for you, um, especially with the queen, um, king of cups. Like somebody's in this space where in the midst of um, a lot of struggle in the midst of a, a calamity in the midst of chaos in the midst of everything around you you know how to be this mutable energy where you're able to rest peacefully because you've been through the storm before so you know how how to weather it like you know how to go through it and like i feel like that's why you remain calm and people are wondering how you're doing it it can be a big old tidal wave coming towards you, but you remain calm, especially with the six of, of cups. People have you in their energy. People are remembering your energy as well. How it was nurturing. I feel like you took care of a lot of people. I feel like you meant a lot of people to the star as well. Stars are very significant at this at this present time. I feel like somebody is also going to grow some form of abundance as well. with the um with the will of fortune um someone's going to grow some form of abundance and like i feel like this is definitely incoming um and it's on its way soon possibly um when you get it i'd like to know um yeah but pisces soul tribe that was the reading um hopefully this message resonates with you in some way shape form or fashion and you're able to take something from it that you can use of course pisces if there's anything that you need from me you can find those details down below in the description box and as always pisces soul tribe remember to conquer this day bye guys